Well, it wasn't the best day to run 26.2 miles in Boston yesterday, but the cold and windy weather didn't keep thousands of runners from crossing the finish line. I just think of all those runners who were checking the weather in the days <laughs> leading up to that going, you get oh, out there, this no. is it. Yeah, that's what they got. Mallory Safaste, our own Mallory, finished it, as so did Howard County native Tatiana McFadden. She finished first in the wheelchair division. WMAR 2 News is Megan Knight's live in the news with more on her amazing win. Megan, what a day. What a day indeed, Christian. Yeah, so this is the picture that Tatiana McFadden tweeted right after her win in the Boston Marathon yesterday. Big smile you see there, thumbs up. She says the conditions were very tough, but she tried to stay positive the entire time. Now, it's hard enough to push yourself through the course for 26.2 miles in a wheelchair never mind having to do it in the wind the cold and the rain but she did it she finished first with the time of two hours four minutes and 39 seconds this is her fifth boston marathon win she is from howard county she's one of the top wheelchair athletes in the world so congratulations to her and then a special shout out of course this morning to wmar2 news's mallory safaste she ran her first marathon yesterday in boston also finishing with the big smiles you see right there. Now, what makes it so meaningful is that Mallory was supposed to run this with her dad, who died unexpectedly last year. So she kept that commitment. She ran this race in his honor. She also raised more than $9,000 for the American Red Cross. So go, Mallory. Okay, Megan, thanks very much. And Mallory is continuing to give back in just a few weeks. She participated in the Walk for Wishes, Make-A-Wish Mid-Atlantic, setting up a, the walk at Rash Field down the Inner Harbor this year. You can still register, by the way, for the walk. It's free. There's going to be Ravens cheerleaders there. It's a great event.